Hey, so I'm starting this week on Friday because this is when I'm usually done editing for the week and I would go out for dinner and I actually went a bit overboard this time by eating a lot for hot pot and forcing down a bunch of dessert like there was no tomorrow. And then literally woke up the next day at 3am to throw it all up and did nothing on Saturday. Then Sunday came and I was finally alive enough to pack a few more of my shop orders. Receiving a smaller number of orders really gives me time to put my own touch in each of the packaging and I'm learning to be grateful for the time I spent creating and be happy with even one order. So thank you again for supporting me, even by watching this video, it means a lot to me. Alright, I just grabbed a sketchbook. I know it's been a while, but today, I mean this week, I want to be able to paint on my sketchbook. For the last two weeks, I've been doing big paintings. The last one is right here. And if you're an artist, you know sometimes you can't just keep creating big paintings. You gotta take a break. And I feel like sketchbooking would help for this week. Since it's gonna be a week in my life, I want to start this week kind of on Friday, even if I didn't record much, but the start of this week wasn't fun. <laughs> so basically I wanted to take a break after working hard last week and trying to get all my website and Etsy shop set up for you guys, especially for those that wants to buy my stuff internationally. So got that all set up and <laughs> I realized that I'm really tired and I was working until like 8 to 9 p.m. every day, just like paint, make sure it's all put up on my website, all the tax still set up, so I needed a break. So then on Friday, I told my partner, let's go out for dinner. So I went to have hot pot, all you can eat. I was so excited to eat after a while. I ate probably more than I should have. And I also went out to get dessert and I came home and I was like, oh, my belly kind of feels weird. Oh, I ate too much, so I'll just let myself rest for a bit. Nope, I went to bed. I woke up at 3 a.m. hurling everything out. <laughs> I'm laughing at it, but it was not funny. <laughs> it was not funny. I did not have fun. So yeah, woke up Saturday feeling groggy. So I pretty much took the weekend to rest, which is what it should be. <laughs> Guess I've been working on the weekends too, yes. So now I'm starting to take my weekends for me. So I rested and I've been reading the book, the Aquatar series. Don't know if you guys know about it, but I joined the hype for it. And 
tried to wake up on Monday. I was just very tired with a headache somehow. Um, so I want to take it slow. That's why I took out my sketchbook. Sometimes you just want to make a tiny little study and painting. So this is what we're going to do this week. It's not going to be grand, but I think you're still going to enjoy it because yeah, who doesn't like a nice little sketchbooking session? And for that painting I've been wanting to do, I kind of want to do a bunch of sketches. I wanted to paint, oh, it's not focusing. I saw this picture on Pinterest, so I had to have it on my sketchbook. Oh, also, you probably noticed a difference, which is my hair is actually straight. Well, living in Seattle, whenever it's dry, my hair goes super straight and then when I'm back home, it goes poofy in the humid weather back in my island. So yeah, I usually curl it to kind of look nice and poofy and voluminous in videos. But this week, I just wanted to be me and have fun with painting and not really have to care too much about doing my hair for like an hour. So... I guess I did not clean my palette last time. I'll be using these three paint brushes for this painting. It's kind of nice that I get to use the smaller brushes this time. Also, I just realized this is very dangerous, putting my water next to my coffee. You've probably noticed that I haven't been painting in my sketchbook as much as before. Well, I'm trying to change that this year as I think I wanted to have a perfect painting ready for each of my upload for an art vlog, but I realized that this is not sustainable. If you're an artist, you know how hard it can be sometimes to paint and even have the motivation. And I realized that part of my art making also includes sketchbooking and random drawings. These all help in the long run to create bigger finished paintings. So as an attempt to show more of the real me, I wanted to share this quick painting I did and had no expectation to turn it into a canvas painting. Some studies can just stay in the sketchbook and that is totally fine. tree look at that poor tree it was trying to go into spring i can see the buds one right there 
it's coming out, but this weather might make it not come out. I just had lunch and my camera battery died so we're gonna switch the phone and I did this little setup here so <laughs> you can get a top view and I don't have to worry too much about pausing and recording I'm just gonna record the whole thing and maybe do like a speed paint let's try to finish this I haven't painted water as much so I'm not gonna lie I was struggling a bit with painting it but you know what was great? Since I was painting in a sketchbook I had no pressure as I usually did whenever I paint on a larger scale on a canvas. I was free to experiment my methods and style and ended up having so much fun. It's not art I'll make a print out of or sell but it's art that made me happy and I would consider that a success. Okay, I'm <laughs> kind of stupid. <laughs> All right, I'm going to, yes, I am wearing sunglasses so you don't see my raccoon eyes, but I'm gonna go to the post office right now because I wanna ship my first international order and I wanna make sure I got everything correct. If I got like the number correct because I don't want the person in Europe having to pay a bad thing when they've already paid it and yeah i want them to be able to get it without any problem because i've heard like many scary stories so let's just get that figure out <music> I went to a dessert cafe on Friday and I had the best enchpanya, I think that's how you call it. And I've been thinking about it for days now, so today we're gonna try it. I bought some ingredients last time, so let's see. Also, yes, I am trying a new hairstyle. I'm gonna be cutting off my hair a little bit this weekend, so I wanted to do something crazy just to see how it is. So. By the way, I don't know what should be the amount. I'm just adding stuff to taste because I know I want to do a whipped cream, but I bought these to kind of sweeten them and add a specific flavoring. Um, 
Um, yes, I totally ate some last night when <laughs> this was meant to be for this one, but oh well. not as thick as I want it to be but uh, we'll work with it breakfast time okay i'll give this a taste test first okay so if you're curious look out for a wednesday upload on my channel as i'm trying to post more often and share more of my art journey without having to edit too much and spend hours in front of my laptop i want to make art more fun which is why i wanted to paint outside even though my social anxiety was through the roof thinking about people not only watching me paint but seeing that i had a camera recording on a stand but hopefully with time i get used to this because summer is approaching and i want to try plein air painting soon But anyway, I've had those charcoal pencils from my high school days and wanted to try them again at home without thinking too much of my surroundings. And I love how the sky and the trees turned out. Alright, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm stopping it here because on Friday, I'm basically gonna sit up my desk to work and also finish editing this video. But let me know what you thought about it and I will see you very soon. Allez, bye!